So there it is, that building right behind me, quite possibly the most famous recording studio in the world, Abbey Road Studios. <laughs> Originally a nine bedroom house built in 1829. The building was purchased by the Gramophone Company in 1928, who transformed it into the world's first purpose built recording studio. The opening ceremony of the studio on the 12th of November 1931 included a live performance of Land of Hope and Glory in Studio One conducted by Sir Edward Elgar. The Gramophone Company merged with Columbia Graphophone and went on to form Electric and Musical Industries, otherwise known as EMI in 1931 and later became known as the EMI Recording Studios. EMI engineer Alan Blumlane patented stereo recording here at Abbey Road Studios. The studios have been at the forefront of innovation in recording technology ever since. Largely developed by the Recording Engineering Development Department. Initially the recording studio was used for classical recordings, but the studio soon expanded to include jazz and big bands, as well as the first British rock and roll records of the 50s, like Sir Cliff Richard's first single, Move It. Abbey Road Studios is of course well famous for the legendary recordings of the Beatles, who worked with EMI producer Sir George Martin and recorded 190 of their 210 songs at the studios. So this is quite possibly the most famous road crossing in the world. People travel all over the world just to cross that road. Vandal. Yeah, I know. How dare I? Where the Beatles recorded? At Abbey Road, there are three main studios Studio One, Studio Two, and Studio Three. The studios are in St John's Wood in North London. Studio One is the largest recording space in the world and is mostly used for orchestras, and lots of famous classical recordings have been made here and also lots of famous film scores like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. And then in Studio 2 is where the Beatles recorded most of their music and also other artists like Pink Floyd, Oasis, Adele and Ed Sheeran. Studio 2 is on two levels and the control room where the producers are is upstairs and the live room where the musicians are is downstairs. And then there is Studio 3, is a more modern recording studio, all on one level. And this is where the Beatles recorded their Revolver album, and Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. And also Amy Winehouse recorded her final tracks here. Click this video right here for a brief history on The Who.